One of the things about being born in California is that most kids have, a, have an outdoor life. One of the highlights of, of, my, of that outdoor life for me was to go to a Girl Scout camp in the High Sierras. It was a very rough camp uh, in, in the best sense of, of that word. The only building on the whole campsite was a kitchen. Oh, and there were little outhouses, and that was it. We slept outdoors almost every night, except if it rains, and then we, we pitched tents and, and slept in the tents. My real religion always was nature. And, uh, that, that's where I had the, the most profound spiritual experiences. I think that I learned to really feel the presence of trees as beings, not as things. The idea that it had, it has a soul, had a spirit, uh, seemed to me self-evident, just from my direct experience living there in the woods that way. And I've never lost that feeling. It was an insight very early in my work that there's a s severe separation in our culture between matter and spirit. And when I was younger, my first years uh, in college, I was drawn to Marxism, as so many young people are. Marx got rid of spirit, and that's the problem I came to see. Perhaps because um, I love material life. I love taste. I, taste. I mean, literally eating. I like to eat. I like, you know, I like beauty. Uh, I like being out in trees, and I like the feel of earth. When I started writing Woman in Nature, that split between matter and spirit became the whole structure of the, of the book. And it's that understanding, that uh, polemic that this culture establishes between matter and spirit is, is really uh, disastrous. There's these very strange um, sort of computer engineer visions that uh, somehow with computers, we can just have our brain be there in the computer and that therefore we'll have eternal life. <laughs> that kind of craziness that you could even entertain such an idea um, comes out of a culture that makes that the split between spirit and matter. That's somebody who, who's, who's never, uh, never had a great time in bed and never been in love with somebody else, just even in love with them that you even like the way they move across a room. We're in a struggle. We're in a titanic struggle for the survival of the Earth. Life on Earth won't be destroyed, but human life on Earth will be destroyed. And the beautiful Earth that we love, that, that, that is our home, will be destroyed. It won't be the same Earth.